boxing truth here. Jeff Horn is definitely no tune-up for Manny Pacquiao. As Pacquiao's next fight has finally been finalized after months of speculation and drama of who Manny's opponent will be. Bob Aaron had got his way. As Manny Pacquiao's deal with Amir Khan couldn't come to completion. Money couldn't be raised in the UAE. I don't give a shit of what Amir Khan says. I can't believe anything he a word he says, especially with the shit that's going on in his career. The turmoil within his team. He fired everybody or or they bounced on him, whatever. Fuck, fuck Amir Khan. The guy's delusional, full of shit most of the time. So I don't believe anything, a word of Amir, what Amir Khan says. Manny Pacquiao tried to fight somebody else. He wanted the biggest lucrative option on the table, and that was a supposed Amir Khan fight in UAE. But most likely that fight will be explored in the fall if Manny Pacquiao can get through his, get through his next assignment, which is Jeff Horn. And now... A lot of so-called boxing experts, fighters, are going to say that this is a tune-up for Manny Pacquiao, but I don't see it that way. Jeff Horn is no tune-up. Tune-up bouts are supposed to be against guys who are who are not confident coming off L's, who haven't, haven't, haven't done shit in their career in terms of where they're ranked. Tune-up bouts are supposed to be against guys that are complete no-hopers, and I don't view Jeff Horn as a complete no-hoper. He hasn't been fighting at a certain level, nowhere near the level of Manny Pacquiao's class, but this is a guy that is a highly rated contender. He's number two in the world by the WBO. He's highly ranked by another sanctioning body by the IBF, number two as well. He's been fighting well-rated contenders since his eighth pro fight. This is not a guy in Jeff Horn that's been baby. He hasn't been protected. He's been stepping up the level of opposition since barely early in his career. He's been fighting world-rated contenders. He's been fighting former world champions. He's been knocking out guys that had never been knocked out before. So the development process, I'm impressed with what Duco Events has been doing with Jeff Horn's career. They've really been matching him. Not easy. They've been putting him in, in good learning fights. And now he's taking a real, really big step in, in, in competition. But they believe in their man. They believe in their guy. And it's a win-win for Bob Arum, another in-house fight. If Manny Pacquiao loses, he's got another star in, in, in his stable. If Manny Pacquiao wins, it's all good. So it's an in-house fight. And it's going to be a significant worldwide international event. Over 50,000 fans will come flock to see Jeff Horn fight Manny Pacquiao. It's being backed by the Queensland, the Queensland government, the money. So... It's definitely a little money maker for Pacquiao. Not in terms of past past bouts, like when he was really bringing in the pay view revenue in the U.S., but now the market's dry in the U.S., so they're going to Australia where Jeff Horn has some really wealthy backers and they really put some money on the table to get, make this fight happen. And this was the alternative for Pacquiao since the con fight couldn't happen. This is... A fight to take, stay busy, instead of just waiting till November since Aram's not offering other opponents. And it should be a fun fight. I don't think it's an easy fight. Pacquiao needs to be at his absolute best. He can't overlook Jeff Horn. He has to be motivated in training camp. As Jeff Horn is he's a confident fighter. He's look he's not a basic fighter. He's, he's a guy that has some some good skills, footwork, a lot of punch variation. He has a very good right hand, which is will be his biggest weapon against, against Pacquiao. He's a naturally bigger guy. He's a younger guy. He has a good amateur pedigree, competed in the 2011 World Championships, made it to the quarterfinals of the Olympic Games in, in 2012 London. So this is a guy that knows how to fight. He's got the experience in, in terms of amateur pedigree. He's one of the rising prospects Maybe the best rising prospect in Australia since other guys like Anthony Boudin are on their way out. And it's a chance for Jeff Horn to put himself on the map. This is the best test that he could get, the best opponent that he could get to really prove how good he is in the boxing ring. And it's going to be a tougher fight than what Manny Pacquiao endured against Jesse Vargas and I believe against Timothy Bradley. 
Manny Pacquiao dominated those guys. But Jeff Je- Jesse Vargas was basic. Jeff Horn is not basic. There's going to be a little more of a difficult task. It's going to be more skills and more angles that Manny Pacquiao has to deal with with Jeff Horn. It's not really a bad fight, only because I understand, you know, a lot of boxing fans go by name recognition, but I'm past those stages. I don't care about name recognition. I only care about how good you can fight. And a lot of so-called boxing people are writing Jeff Horn off and I don't even know if they even seen a fight of this kid. Have they even sat down and actually watched a fight of this kid? Have they sat down and watched his progression? The kid is getting better every fight. He's looking good. He's getting knockouts. He's he's really looked good his last two fights. And his team is very confident that they could pull off the upset. They wouldn't have put him in the way with Manny Pacquiao if they didn't think he could win. This could be an upset special. I wouldn't count... Jeff Horn completely out, but maybe it's a little too soon for him because of Manny's experience, the speed, and his southpaw style that Jeff Horn has never seen before. But it's going to be a dangerous fight for Manny, especially if he's not if he's not 100% prepared mentally and physically going into this fight. And also, Manny's being the road warrior here. He's going into Jeff Horn's backyard. When the fight was being put off or delayed and it seemed like Manny Pacquiao was going into the another direction initially I, I like the fight I, I think it's going to be a, a really good exciting prize fight but when when Pacquiao and Khan were, were looking to go in another direction and they were looking to fight Khan I actually think the Khan fight is a lot easier for Manny Pacquiao I think the Adrian Broner fight is a lot easier than Manny Pacquiao than Jeff Horn I know people are going to laugh at me. They're going to say I don't know shit about boxing, but I'm telling you, Jeff Horn is a tougher opponent, much tougher opponent, than fucking Adrian Broner and fucking Amir Khan. Jeff Horn beats the shit out of those guys right now. And y'all ain't going to believe you, most of you, but if Jeff Horn beats Manny Pacquiao, then don't say I don't know shit about boxing. I'm not I'm not picking Jeff Horn. I'm still riding with Manny because this cause that's Manny. I'm never gonna pick against Manny Pacquiao. But Manny Pacquiao just he just picked the more dangerous opponent that he was being uh slated to fight with Broner and Khan. As those guys are the much more easier fights for Pacquiao instead of fighting this young, hungry, confident lion in Jeff Horn. I'm, I'm nervous for Manny, man. He has to be fully prepared. And he's going to a different continent, different country. It's not going to be his the, the similar Las Vegas surroundings. But uh, we'll see what happens. July 2nd in Brisbane. Interesting international event for Manny Pacquiao. Uh, hopefully, regular HBO will pick it up. If not, maybe Bob Arum can find a free network to that will be interested in televising the fight. If not, then top top ranking Bob Arum will put the fight on pay per view independently. I mean, what's the point of uh, if if they can't find a network to televise the fight for free or at least regular HBO, then Bob Aaron is not going to leave money on the table. He's going to put the fight on on independent pay per view if no network will pick the fight up. But it is what it is. Manny Pacquiao will be fighting Jeff Horn. I know a lot of fans will, will are not are not going to be totally thrilled with this fight, but I think it's a good fight. I think it'll be a fun fight, and I feel, truly believe Jeff Horn is a legitimate challenge. At this stage of Manny Pacquiao's career. But y'all let me know what y'all think. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.